Hey dolls and gents, your girl is back with a new video on this hair right here. I'm gonna show you exactly how I installed this wig and styled it today. Can you believe that this wig is only 24 inches? Like, how? It's hitting at my waist, which seems like it's more like 28 inch, 26 inch. So when I tell you, you are getting your length plus some with this wig, you most certainly are. So the wig that I'm wearing today is from Yolisa Hair, and I believe this is the first time that I've reviewed a wig from this hair company. This is one of their 5x5 HD lace closure wigs, and it has 180% density, and it is 24 inch body wave. It holds a curl really good, y'all. It's super bouncy, and when I tell you it's thick on the ends as well, sometimes I end up cutting the ends on pre-made wigs that I receive from hair companies just because the ends are a little more thin than I would like. The ends on this baby are so good, I did not have to cut any off. If you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. And let's go ahead and get into this hair right here, boo. So let's get into this wig. This wig has two wig combs at the top, one in the back, and it also has adjustable straps just to make sure that your wig is as tight as you want it to be. And here is the lace. I did go ahead and bleach the knots per usual. And here is the natural texture of this body wave hair. So it does have a nice, very loose wave to it. I had and added my foundation under the lace of this wig just to give it a more natural look. And we're gonna go ahead and apply the wig on my head. And I do like to put in the comb in the back just to secure it. I'm gonna go ahead and clip up that lace, get it out the way because I am gonna be using glue today. So to adhere down my wig today, I'm using the Bold Hold Active. This is for oily skin. I'm applying one light layer on. I typically do two to three layers, but I just did one this day because I only wanted to wear it for a few days. I do enjoy taking my wigs off at night just because I have a really dry, itchy scalp, y'all. I swear, like, I can put so much product in my hair. I can put anything for itchy scalp, tea tree oil, rosemary stuff, and it still itches so bad. So if any of you have itchy scalp and you have a solution, let me know in the comments down below. So once the adhesive goes clear and is still a little tacky, you wanna go ahead and pop the lace on it. I'm going to take my comb and just run it over the edges just to smooth it down onto the lace and make sure it's nice and secure. So I'm gonna do this throughout the whole front of that lace before I remove the lace off of the wig. Next, I'm going to take my eyebrow razor and use it to remove that excess lace that is not glued down to our forehead. And this gives it a more rugged, jagged look. So that way it looks more natural instead of using scissors and just cutting straight across. That will come across as like that moon shape headline and we don't want that. Next, I'm gonna go for a middle parting today. I've been loving a middle parting lately and I'm getting it as straight as I possibly can get it. This is a five by five closure, so it does go pretty deep back. Next, I'm gonna take my wax stick and apply it just around that parting to lay those hairs down at the top. It also eliminates any flyaway hairs that I may have. And then I'm gonna go in with my spritz on top and I'm going to use my hot comb and it is going to sizzle a bit, but I'm telling you, it's going to get your wig nice and flat up top, which I really enjoy doing. So to give it that really flawless parting look, I'm going in with this black mascara and applying it just to the inner hairs that meet at that parting area. And it's going to give us a thinner part, which I prefer. Some people prefer thicker parts, but I prefer a thin part. And to make the parting look even more realistic, I'm going in with a concealer down at my parting area just to give that demarcation between the part and the hair. So now I am going to pull out these baby hairs. 
I'm just pulling out the baby hairs in the very front. I'm actually creating baby hairs, so I first like to use my wax stick and get the hair that I'm not using to make baby hairs out the way. And I just pull the very front, I would say half a centimeter, and then I'm going to cut it with the eyebrow razor. And I do this on the other side as well. I think I made the baby hairs a little bit thicker on this right hand side, but you know what? That's just fine. I went ahead and sheared them out just a little bit and it came out just fine. So now I'm cutting the baby hairs on the right hand side and I'm going to use a little bit of my Nairobi mousse to lay these baby hairs down. So I'm going to lay them in the middle and then on each side. I haven't been doing baby hairs lately, but I do enjoy doing them on lace closure wigs. I think a bit more than lace frontal wigs. It just depends on like the overall vibe that I'm going for. So let's go ahead and curl this hair up. I am starting in the very bottom. I'm gonna pin this hair out the way and I'm not using a curling wand. I'm using a regular curling iron, but I'm going to put it around the entire barrel instead of opening it up like it is a curling wand. And this is going to give us a nice, just flawless wave. And I really like the way that these curls came out. This hair curls really good, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the rest, play a little bit of music. And by the time I come back, we'll be almost done. So I'm gonna set the curls in place with a little bit of hairspray and I'm going to do the other side of my head off camera and here is the final look, y'all. I love it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you would like to see a makeup tutorial on this look right here, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in checking out this bomb wig from Yolisa Hair, I will have all the details as well as any coupon codes in the description box down below. If you have not already watched my latest YouTube video, go ahead and click the box right here. The party doesn't stop with this video. Keep it coming. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on this channel, so go watch. Check them out and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye.